These three ingredients guys are I would say the best to have in a hair loss products to support healthy scalp. Hey guys, Moisan here and welcome back to my channel where we talk about nursing and skincare and hair care. In today's video, I will share with you my anti-hair loss products that best supports my finasteride. And I will also talk a little bit about whether this anti-hair loss product helps block DHT on the scalp to promote hair growth. So guys, before I share with you my anti-hair loss products that I use to support my finasteride, let's quickly talk about these anti-hair loss products that claims to have DHT blocking properties, thus reversing hair loss, promoting hair growth. And some of these products even claim that it cures hair loss. And for those who doesn't know, DHT guys stands for dihydrotestosterone, which is a strong hormone that is converted from testosterone. So basically what happens is that these DHTs would go and bind to the the hair follicles causing miniaturization or thinning of the hair which then eventually would cause the hair to fall out guys anti-hair loss products such as shampoos conditioners leave-on hair masks essential oils etc are a great support for our scalp specifically with shampoos and conditioners these products are really good to you know cleanse the scalp remove excess oils and sebum and some has soothing effects sometimes when our hair gets you know a bit itchy using a tonic sprays would help soothe the itching temporarily because of a lot of these tonic sprays contains menthol which is very cooling on the scalp a lot of these products too contains botanical ingredients which may provide extra antioxidants and nutrients to the scalp so now that we have mentioned some of the benefits of these anti-hair loss products the questions are does anti-hair loss products block DHT to promote hair growth and or cure hair loss my honest answer is no so regardless of how many botanical ingredients are included in the those products there are no strong evidence that those ingredients would block or washes away those DHT on the scalp in a lot of these anti hair loss products you will see that they often include natural ingredients such as saw palmetto stinging nettle and or caffeine and claims to have a DHT blocking properties when applied on the scalp no doubt guys but there are some studies with these ingredients the only problems are that the studies that they have done are very small and lacks further evaluation so at this time, it hasn't yet come into conclusion that it is approved to be used as a treatment for hair loss. As of now guys, the only approved medication for reducing DHT on the scalp is really Finasteride 1 mg which is an oral tablet that you take daily with or without food. This is a prescription drug and you need an assessment from your doctor before you can take this medication. Guys, I am not against any herbal ingredients. In fact, I grew up in the Philippines where we use a lot of herbal ingredients for you know certain conditions such as nausea headaches pain etc it is just that when it comes to a certain medical condition such as male pattern baldness or hair loss rather it is very important to have the proper treatments with an approved medication we also have to remember that male pattern baldness is a progressive condition and it can affect a lot of people emotionally and so it is very important to see your doctor for proper treatments okay guys all right let us move on so guys let me share with you now the anti-hair loss products that i am currently using to support my finasteride and these products are all from sika peptide anti-hair loss line by some by me so these product guys are actually well known for their centella asiatica ingredients so at the end of this video i will give you my honest thoughts on why i chose these products as a support to my finasteride so first let us start with the shampoo so the first product is the sika peptide anti-hair loss derma scalp shampoo by some by me this anti-hair loss shampoo gently cleanse the aged dead skin cells and impurities it is contained with Sika agent and 11 types of peptides to calm down the scalp and provide hair with nutrients guys this is my second bottle and I would say that this shampoo is really great for exfoliating the scalp because of its you know salicylic acid ingredients and we all know that salicylic acid is a beta hydroxy acid that is very good for dead skin cells it also prevents and 
treats acne when applied on the skin so guys just be mindful that if you have a wound or a irritation on your scalp salicylic acid can be a bit irritating okay so just be cautious about that otherwise it is very very well tolerable it also has niacinamide which is a vitamin b3 that helps alleviate inflammations that also contributes to having dandruff guys before i started taking finasteride for my hair loss you wouldn't believe how itchy my scalp was like omg then i have realized that it could be caused by the dhc that is attacking my you know hair follicles and so niacinamide ingredient may help alleviate that itching from inflammation guys again niacinamide does not block dht okay this shampoo also has biotin which for me it doesn't really do anything when applied on the scalp like really guys biotin works better when taken orally but wait hair loss as related to biotin deficiency is rare okay a lot of the foods that we eat has a biotin so it is unlikely that your hair loss could be due to biotin deficiency i did a video on the biotin for hair loss several months ago so if you guys want to see it go and check it out guys this shampoo is very you know cooling and refreshing on the scalp i usually use this at night before i go to bed to help remove all those you know buildups that i acquired during the day and this shampoo is also perfect after my long hours of work because you know the hospital environment setting can be very dirty and it makes my hair oily and whatever so now let us move on to the conditioner guys conditioners are very important to prevent a dryness after you know shampooing and it gives extra bounce to the hair so the next product is the Sika peptide anti hair loss derma scalp treatment honestly guys i am still thinking if this is a conditioner or a live-on hair mask i do call it a conditioner because technically this is the second step of this line and so i am assuming that it is a conditioner but it says to leave it on for two to three minutes so it is a live-on mask but i do leave a conditioner on my scalp for about two minutes too so oh but anyways whatever as long as it works on my scalp and my hair with no problem then it is what it is this anti-hair loss treatment is contained with Sika agent and 11 types of peptides to fill nutrients into damaged dry hair and make it into a healthy untangled hair you know what guys i am just hoping that they will increase the size of this because right now they only have the 50 ml of this product and i really really like this product so much so i'm calling out for or some by me to please my gosh increase the size of this what's really nice about this specific product guys is that it has a zinc pyrethione ingredient which is you know the main ingredient in the head and shoulders shampoos so zinc pyrethione is a very effective antifungal ingredient that works to treat you know dandruff and it also has antimicrobial and antibacterial properties it also is combined with salicylic acid which we have mentioned earlier that it helps with you know exfoliations and finally guys our last product Product is one of my favorite product and this is the Sika peptide anti-hair loss derma scalp tonic guys third bottle it is this is one of my favorite hair loss tonic for supporting my hair and i love how it is not greasy and doesn't leave my hair with white residues once it is you know fully absorbed and another thing is that it's not drying and it's very refreshing on the scalp this hair tonic contains Sika agent and 11 types of peptides to calm down the stress out of scalp and immediately provides nutrients on hair to alleviate hair loss this tonic guys also have salicylic acid which is great because it actually stays on your scalp for longer hours which will benefit your scalp big time and guys i do use my you know hair max laser comb after applying this on my scalp just to you know assist with absorption and circulations and whatever i did a video on this specific product last year and so if you guys want to see it go and check it out over here So guys, my honest thoughts on these products from Some By Me is that they have included ingredients that I know it really works for certain hair problems such as inflammations. The use of, you know, salicylic acid, zinc pyrethion, and niacinamides are proven to treat these conditions. These three ingredients, guys, are, I would say, the best to have in a hair loss products to support healthy scalp. I am not disregarding the botanical ingredients in these products because I know they also have certain benefits, but those three 
three that were mentioned are I would say the most proven. So guys before I end this video let me just clarify that these are the anti hair loss products that works for me to support my finasteride. So there are a lot of anti hair loss products that you guys can also try and do a review on but let me just remind you guys that if you are experiencing hair loss to always consult with your doctor for proper treatments prior to using any anti hair loss products okay. So there we go guys with another nursing in skincare and hair care. I hope that you have learned something. If you guys have any questions and or topics that you guys want me to talk about just leave it in the comment section down below and you guys can also reach me in my Instagram and Facebook. If you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up, turn on that notification bell for more updated videos such as this one and guys don't forget to share it with your friends and families. So until next time bye bye!